The light at the end of the tunnel is seemingly brighter in the latest surge of the pandemic. The state's positivity rate has hit a two-week low, and that's not the only sign the outbreak may be on the decline. KBX 5's Maria Sid Medina is in Palo Alto, where the proof is in the wastewater. Health experts say we could be at the peak of this surge right now or very close to it, and they base that on what we're finding or not finding in our sewers. Health experts say our sewer water may hold answers to the questions we have about when this surge will end. And right now, our wastewater in Santa Clara County shows traces of COVID have been on the decline for several days after peaking earlier this month. It's not infrequent that roughly after about 10 days when you see the drop in wastewater, you see the cases start to drop. Three days after the virus's RNA began to drop in the county's wastewater, California's positivity rate also dropped and has continued a downward slope. UC Berkeley professor and infectious disease expert Dr. John Schwartzberg believes, based on those findings, we could already be past the worst of the surge. I think there's a good chance that we're either at its crest are very near the crest. California is not alone. New York saw a 47% drop in cases last Friday, and states in the Northeast are also seeing a decline or leveling off. But Dr. Schwartzberg warns it could be a while before hospitalizations and deaths follow. Our hospitals are going to have another two weeks that are going to be very, very rough before we see those counts start to drop. This virus has a lot of tricks left up its, up its sleeve, I'm afraid. Um, but we have a lot of good science now to help us deal with it much better than we did even six months ago. And our death count could also take several weeks to decline, according to Dr. Schwartzberg. He says the virus could still mutate into a serious variant, but now we have vaccines and COVID pills to prevent hospitalizations and deaths. In Palo Alto, Maria Sid Medina, KPIX 5.